Hi guys, today I've decided that it might be a good time to tackle at least some of this. Um, the, bo the bottom of it where you can see all of the extra branches coming out kind of needs some attention. So I've decided it's a nice day and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I haven't gotten very far because I came to look at this and see where I could get at this and look, take, take a look. See the crab apples? Now what else do you see? Do you see what I see? Where is it? That's a different... So those don't grow on a crab apple. So we have two different bushes going on here. This will be fun. I don't want that one. I know the birds like that one, but I don't. So, um, we're gonna cut this back to just the crab apple. All right, let's see what this looks like when we're done here. While I'm at it, I just wanna show you guys this tool that I'm using to cut this. My mom got this for me and this thing is awesome. So you can extend it. Um, it's got like this little, sorry, I've got a spider crawling on me. Hang on a second. All right, so it's got this um, like twist it, you can open it. And if I'm holding on to this with my two hands so you can extend it and you can minimize it so that you have more reach. So that's kind of cool. It's just like with a twist of your hand and it just locks it in place. Super cool. And this thing is so powerful. Look at some of the summit size of these that I'm able to cut with this. So to give you an example, here's my finger, my fingertip. Look at that. The thing cuts right through it. You have to like kind of clamp it down a couple times, but it just kind of continues to slice in through these things. It's amazing. Ben was thinking I'd have to have a saw for doing this, but yep, not so much. This tool, get one of these. Um, let's see if I can find a brand on it. Made in Taiwan, that doesn't help us. I don't have a brand, my mom got them. So um, it came in a pack of a bunch of different tools, but it just, you can kind of see that it like continues to ratchet on down. So um, it does all the hard work for you. Anyway, this thing is fantastic. So I just wanted to share. So I'm in the middle of my cleanup from all my yard work. But check out this guy. He almost looks like a gigantic tick. I don't know what he is, some kind of beetle. But he's pretty big. Looks like a gigantic tick. Wouldn't that be gross? I'm sorry. Wouldn't that be gross if that were the case? I don't think it is though. Funky. Well, you go in there, you're going to be lost in the massive brush. Funky. What is that thing? Anybody know? Love to fill me in if you can. Add it in the comments if you know what this thing is. Anyway, so most of my cleanup, I've got some brush set off to the side, um, but most of my cleanup, if you can see this thing, look, there's a tree under there. And so I, I was wrong. Um, the extra stuff that was growing at the bottom, I do believe that's actually part of the tree, the little saplings. And these that I found uh, look to be just like a, a vine that was growing in it. So that vine is no more. And sorry birds, but I'll feed you instead. So. Um, anyway, it looks a lot better. I still have some other bushes here that need some attention for sure. I think those are spirea, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'll have to look into that a little bit more too. But this looks so much better, doesn't it? A little bit cleaner? Less of an eyesore? Ooh, there's a little, there's a little one on the side I can still get. It's higher up, so I'll grab that too. But anyway, that uh, tool that I showed you guys did certainly quick work. I think this only took me about maybe, I don't know. 10 minutes so anyway maybe less than that so I've got so like I said a little bit more cleanup to do I'm gonna bring that over to the trailer and uh, then I've got some more weeds that I'll pull since I'm out here and it's a beautiful day and I got Toby he's keeping me company out here he's in the front yard hi Toby so uh, anyway that's that's what I'm up to hey guys still here um, cutting stuff so I got done with the weeding and, well, most of the weeding, I should say, um, and decided I still had a little bit left in me. So I've been putting my loppers, yes, the technical term for that tool right there. I've been putting those to good use, trying to trim these back. They were so crazy looking. <laughs> and as it turns out, they're just common box um, boxwood bushes, so they can be trimmed back pretty much throughout the summer if you want to. They're pretty hardy, um, 
for trimming wise um, they tolerate it a lot and you can trim back up to a third of its height at a time so that's basically what I'm doing as you can see with that other one back there I'm kind of cutting off about I don't know six inches five six inches and just kind of trimming them up making it look better so I've got one left to do and then I'll take a shot from afar and see what we've got I gained a helper which is good because I'm running out of steam huh? don't come cut it back too far we want it to look kind of round so everything's got to even out here. It didn't even cut, so. Oh. You done? Or you keep still going? You got some. Hey. There you go. Wait. Go a little bit higher, though, because you're getting kind of deep in there. There you go. Like right there. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> you can trim kind of right here, too. There you go. And that whole side I haven't done. You can kind of see where I was trimming. It's like a shelf. So you can trim that whole side if you want. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Those things are heavy. Get it, Maya. Get it. You got some. And they're hard to cut. Yep. It's wet too. It is wet. Don't trim your little toesies. <clears throat> you gonna trim any more? <laughs> There's a lot to trim. Yep, little bits. Keep your feet out of there, Maya, though. <laughs> Good job. Alright, took a step back. Let's take a look. All that hard work. Those tools are hard to use, huh, Maya? Oh my goodness, what is this? Did, did you guys want this? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, Maya can't use that one, but you know, that might have been helpful for the rest of this. They look really nice. Yeah, thanks. I'm a little worn out though. <laughs> it's a good arm workout. <coughs> well, we maybe. Can use this on the back ones. On the, do we have some of these in back? No, we have those other ones in back though. I don't know how to trim those. I have to look that up. But these, I looked up, so I knew how much I could trim them and the fact that I could trim them and they'd be fine. Well, here's our trimmer. It's <coughs> not in storage. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll just put that right there. Thanks. <laughs> Love you, honey. Bye. Bye. Looking good, Maya. All right. So overall, I think it looks way better than it did this morning. Well, this afternoon, earlier this afternoon. So that's what I did for today. Um, I did some weeding. There were some weeds in this bed and in that bed. And you can see there's still a couple more popping up in there. And I just, I ran out of steam for pulling weeds. So uh, the front and that tree was mostly my goal for today. And I like, I think the bushes look way better than they did. I should see if I could somehow pose a before and after picture. But anyway, so that's where I'm at. And uh, I'm sure I'll have more projects to figure out tomorrow. Maybe I'll tackle the back. There are a lot of weeds in back. I can show you guys what's back there as we walk around. <clears throat> so here's the side of the house. Kind of also needs some work because there's some stuff that was left, like undone. It's been undone for years. And then we come around and we've got some more evergreen type bushes. Um, I've trimmed those back before as well, but not this particular, these particular plants, but just that kind. We've got craziness going on back here too. These are way overgrown. Um, yeah, needs a lot of work. And then we also have this whole undergrowth down in underneath here, which I have been putting off and putting off and putting off. I really don't want to have to deal with it because it puts me way underneath bushes that are full of mosquitoes and bugs and ugh. I just don't want to do it. But maybe. Hi. Hi. With what the am sun I doing? behind you. You you could help trim those. These? Uh, nah, I well, I don't know what to do with the, the actual like cedar 
trees. I'm talking about the weeds down below. Those fun weeds. Oh, I was gonna tell you, I got a I got a trimmer for this. It's called a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. So I was just showing them the work that I still have left to do, but I think I'm pretty happy with how the tr front turned out. Front looks good. Front looks really good. Yeah. And I did decide that I liked, once I got down to kind of like actually shaping the bushes, I still prefer the loppers versus the, uh, the hedge me, trimmer. Me, 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 yes. <laughs> so. I can use the hedge trimmer. I'm fine with it. Well, the hedge trimmer might actually be really good for, be great for that. these. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because those can go... That thing is so overgrown. It's, it's, it hasn't been trimmed in years. I don't think the front ones have been trimmed in years either. So, so that's where we're at. Another day. Not today. I'm done for today. Yeah, it's like dead because there's no there's no air. There's no it sunlight. It's so long. it's not getting anything. So we'd have to slowly trim that one back. We could trim off like the crazy little shoots right now, but we can't fully. We'll have to slowly yeah. trim that one back in order to get it to not die on us if we yeah. want to keep it. So. I don't want to keep it, but okay. <laughs> See you guys. See ya.